You better make us look good. Got you, girl. What? I got you. We're already where we were on New Year's Eve at the end of the night. And we're still going strong. Tonight, we're going to have some fun as we check out the secret world of speakeasies in BGC. And the best part is that we're going to go on a double date. Plus, it's Nelvin's pre-birthday celebration. Let's go, Nelvin. Yay. It is my birthday. Yay. We are just waiting for the Lockwoods to come. Kids are going to be here with Ate. Ate is going to be babysitting four kids. Superwoman. <laughs> Hello. Happy birthday, Oh, Thank Nelvin. you. Thank you. Thank you, love. How are you? We're happy birthday, Uncle Nelvin. Happy birthday, Uncle Nelvin. Be back at 11 and hydrate. All right, rules are set. Now the adults are going to have some fun. Let's go. This is Mama Nia. She takes care of us. She always makes sure we're OK, that our notifications are on the phone, just in case. You guys behave, OK? We'll behave. Mama Nia. Thank you, Ate. Maraming salamat. Bye, Ate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love you. Love you, guys. Love you, too. Keep our kids on the phone. OK, OK, OK. We got out the door. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing, nothing. Which place is first, guys? I have, I have no idea. Forget all your care, so go downtown. Things will be great when you're downtown. No final place for sure. Downtown. Everything's waiting for you. So, since I'm the uh, birthday boy. The organizer is <laughs> me. Mom Duty. <laughs> so I know we're going to the secret world of speakeasies here in BGC. We've got four coming up. Two of them we've been to and two of them we have not. But they're all right here in the center of BGC. And I can't wait to celebrate in each one of them. What are you wearing tonight? I was going to say I'm going to paint the town red. And I literally am in red. You can forget all your troubles. Forget all your cares. So go downtown. Where all the lights are. So bright. this is going to be the first out of the four speakeasies. And if you guys don't know, speakeasies uh, were established back in the 1920s when it was legal to drink. And normally you would need a password to get in. So here, you don't need a password to get in, but you do need to know the secret door. All right, guys, I got this. I'll get you guys in. <laughs> Can you guys guess where the door is? It's like a trick door, like behind the... You have to pull a Red Bull and then a door opens. Maybe that corner? Ah. The one that looks like a door? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for the speakeasy. Uh, that door. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys ready for this? I am so ready to party. It's like the storage area. Hello. Hello, Priya. We got ketchup, guys. Oh, a cup of noodles. All right, in case you get hungry. All right, yeah. Is this thing on? Ooh, yes. Twisted, baby, I'm a goner. I'm a monster. Don't listen to what I say, cause I say things that I don't mean when the liquor speaks. I'm gonna go to the bar area over here, which is really nice. Nicely lit with all of the bottles of alcohol. Oh, and I love the uh, bartender's bulletproof vest. How cool is that? It gives it a touch on the bank bar. So when you go back past the bar, there's the DJ booth. I wish we were going to be here at 9 p.m. to see them DJ. And then they've got the outside patio. I believe you can smoke back there. Sell some people smoking. I also heard to check the bathroom knob. Oh my gosh. It's like vault handles, right? It's like the vault handle. Kind of looks like something else. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about a vault handle. It's supposed to be a vault handle, guys. <laughs> One good night is worth a thousand words. One good girl is worth a thousand birds. Let's travel the world and make a thousand firsts. The way you move it, Now it is time to order. 
our first appetizer and our drinks. I am so excited for us, for all four of us to just have this alone adult time and not have any distractions and just enjoy our night out. Last time we were here, it was about nine o'clock when the DJ was playing. But right now, the time is only uh, 624. <laughs> Favorite picture right here. So in first grade, she would get my hair perm. Cue my first grade school pictures. I just stick out my chin and grin. So it's only 624. <laughs> this is Phil, by the way. How old were you here? Uh, must have been kindergarten. First drink of the night, guys. This goes to my baby Melvin for his birthday tonight. Cheers, baby. I love Cheers, you. Cheers, guys. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy Thank birthday. you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you guys. Oh wow. Part way to it kind of tastes like a tangerine juice. That's what you get me. And then ashi. Uh, yuzu, vodka, and some lemon peel. I don't even taste the vodka. Refreshing. Aaron and I both got martini. Half vodka, half gin. Which is a little bit of a way toward a Vesper martini from James Bond 007, but missing some key ingredients. But I think the vodka just mellows out some of the botanicals from the gin a little bit, so I really like mixing them half and half. So again, guys, this is the bank bar. It's called bank bar because it is underneath the RCBC bank behind the 7-Eleven. So we got the whole uh, feel of the bank in here with the, the bartenders wearing the bulletproof bank vests. Pretty cool, nice touch. Well, looks like we got the pork and shrimp dumplings. And these might be the croquettes or they could be the fried green olives. The jamon croquette. Yeah. Phil, favorite one? For me, hands down, it's the olives. Not just because they taste good and that crunch is really satisfying, but because what goes better with a martini than an olive? I've been eyeing these since they sat on the table. Cheese melts in your mouth. Very yummy. I also love the olives, but I'm going with the jamon croquette. Mm. Oh. See, my favorite one would be the uh, wonton. It has that kick. I love that spicy little kick at the end. Very good. Perfect bar bite. Give me love, give me Fendi, my Balenciaga daddy. You gonna need to bag it up. That was a great speakeasy number one now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to three more after this and we're gonna rank them to see which one is the best out of four great start to the night thank you good call yay we had to introduce uh, Aaron and Phil to the speakeasy behind the 7-eleven I mean you've got to know that in BGC <laughs> Oh, hello, po. Oh, wow. Picture, uh, he wants a picture with us. Uh. I, I watch your vlog uh, uh, every... Uh, Salamat. Anong pangalan? Uh, Peterson. Maganda gabi. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> Maraming salamat. See you. Ina po. This is so random, but talking about Tagalog. Um, so I'm taking my classes, and I've learned that I've been saying Ignat wrong. So I'm saying Ignat po, Ignat, like take care. So now I finally learned how to say it right. It's Ignat po, Ignat. So thank you my to my tutor for teaching me, <laughs> tutor Adrian. <laughs> Something told me it was over When I saw you and her talking Just warning you guys really quickly, Nia will call you about every hour, okay. yeah, just to check in. I like it. Yeah. Love, Love you, baby. Love you. We are looking for the next speakeasy here. Okay, my goodness, we have been in this area so many times and we had no idea that there was a speakeasy right here. So we've been looking in circles and we finally found it. It's next to Sushi Nori. Oh my gosh, Hi. I just watched yeah. the Watch video. you guys. Really? Yeah, I'm <laughs> Got MD. Part of the Part fun. Of Melvin is the only celebrity I can think of. Uh, Uncle Melvin's a celebrity. At least uh, Colt notices dad duty. What do you mean? As soon 
as you walk in, you get this cool retro feel. You've got the brown kind of furniture, and I cannot wait to see what all the drinks are looking like. But we've got the yellow lights, even the roof looks really cool, like metallic, very, very retro, like 70s kind of feel. We got the brown bar here, the wooden table. How cool is this? And we've just got a few tables, kind of similar to the first speakeasy, very small and intimate, and I love it. You're trying to catch the beat, make up your heart. Don't know if you're happy, you're complaining. Hydrate <laughs> Hydrate for Nia. Alright, now the question I have, does this qualify as a speakeasy because it's not really hidden. I asked Hope if this is considered a speakeasy and he said yes. Except that it's pretty easy to find and it's more like a restaurant where you can see the sign outside and then you just walk in. But it's still pretty cool. <laughs> it literally said open <laughs> on the door. I would consider it to be more like a speak loudly. First you wanna go to the left and you wanna turn right. Checking in on the time here, it's 7.42. Eleanor. Just thinking about... Her. She's famous. <laughs> Maybe I should follow you. I asked him what is uh, one of the most popular drinks and he said... The Confidential. Yes. Ooh, very punchy. Like fruit punch almost. Employee of the month. Oh. Do I get a sticker that says employee of the month? No. Do you like your plaque on the wall? <laughs> I, I missed it. So right here. This is the secret ingredients for this cocktail, but we cannot look at it until we've had a sip and we have to try to guess what's in it. And then we can check our work, but we cannot show this on camera. Tequila. Oh, tequila. No, tequila. Is it this color? Or tequila. Yeah, tequila. You're right. Tequila. You're right. Anything else? Is tequila? Yeah. Grapefruit juice. Yeah, you're right. You're good in Jal anything else. Jalapeno. No, but we did put some spiciest pepper in it, but not jalapeno. Dang. Squirt soda. No. Seven up. No. Right. No. Club soda. You know, open up. Belly belly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let them say it. It's confidential. Okay. Only for your eyes, guys. Confidential, guys. Can you give it the white paper after? Eh? Give me, give me. Not yet done. So it's a. Okay. <laughs> Voila! So, excuse me. That was so confidential right now. Oh. Oh. Is this calamari? Okay, I gotta say, this kind of looks like popcorn shrimp to me. Right? So, at our first Peak Easy, we had three bar bites. On this one, we're only having one because we're saving some room on the next one because the next one we might be having um sushi drinks 10 out of 10 calamari that's all right uh, all right so we are wrapping up the second speakeasy and this was such a blast we had fun it's getting crazy in here so we're ready to go to the next one let's go So what's the name of, of this next speakeasy? So the name is called Yes Please at the Palace, but it goes by Yes Please. Uh, no, you did it. Yes, and it's supposed to have the coolest ambiance with music and a lot of lights. So I can't wait to see what this one looks like. So excited! <laughs> Maybe I'll do a little dancing! <laughs> <laughs> Time check. <laughs> Eight fifty-seven. <laughs> Can't wait to update my car. <laughs> oh. hey. Beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. Love your imperfections, every anger. Tomorrow comes and goes before you. Oh, I forgot my camera. <laughs> <laughs>
It's a trick door. You know how to get in? Try <laughs> Oh, not allowed. No oh, cameras no. upstairs. Oh, yes, one no. moment to put our stuff away, please. We're not allowed to bring our cameras in. Yes. Oh no. Few moments later. All right, guys. Sorry to tell you, but it's a no go here. I, yes, please. It's called Yes, Please. I'm so shocked that they wouldn't let us in. They even talked to their supervisor, and we even put our cameras away so that they know that we wouldn't film, and they still would not let us in. So if you're a vlogger, do not come here with a nice camera. <laughs> Just bring your cell phone. So such a bummer that they won't, you guys won't be getting footage of us having fun here. So we're just gonna head to our last speakeasy, which is the one that we were the most excited about anyways. I just feel bad because I really wanted Nelvin to experience this place. It was more like a dancing club. Nah, seriously, it's, it's all good because it's more like a no please instead of a yes please. <laughs> And I don't even think if it, it qualifies as a speakeasy. It's more like a club. It's a, it's a no thank you. No thank you. Let you know. Did you close it on your feet? Yeah. yeah. This one I'm most excited about. Yeah. I'm excited for you guys to see it. This is the finale, I feel. The finale. And it's already 9.30. If we were to go to the last speakeasy, we would have been there until 10.30, and we wouldn't have even made it to this speakeasy. I know, and so, I'm so old, I would have been asleep <laughs> by then. <laughs> we would have been drinking coffee in an hour. Oh, UCC? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I was kidding. No coffee tonight and no yawning. Whoever <laughs> yawns has to take a shot. Oh. <gasps> Don't you dare. Yes, she's no, yawned you like didn't. four times already. <laughs> no yawning. <laughs> and you can't yawn until my birthday number is 107 oh. a.m. <laughs> I gotta do a twirl too. This is the coolest speakeasy that we've been to. It's called Hotel Bar. But as soon as you walk in, you see this long bar and you think that's it, but it's not. It's just the entrance. So let's follow me along and I'll show you. Once you enter the double doors, all these different rooms split up. So they have different vintage themes. So I would say this is more like the dance floor slash hip hop pop room. But then you have another room once you walk upstairs. It's also the classical room, jazz room. Let's go check that out. Yeah, DJ area, sir. Okay. DJ area. We got so lucky with this table. Oh my god! Right? It was so meant to be, even though we couldn't get into the last thing easy, it was meant to be. So this is inside the Shangri-La, but it's attached to Pink, which is like the hot dog place. So the same food is served as Pink's, which is great. So you can have cocktails, uh, bar bites, or dinner here. It's great collection. Tito, right here. Sponsor us, please. You'll be perfect for the Philippines. But it's Tito. So it's more expensive to buy the drinks individually. So now that it was hard enough to buy the bottle and make your own thing. And we've got Mel to the mixologist to make our drinks. We got the best bartender here. What do we have here? Buffalo Lechon. Lechon, really? We got Lechon. We've got a few different plates. We've got some chicken and buffalo wings, some salted egg, and a charcuterie board with some delicious meats and cheeses and bread. This goes perfect for bar bites and some drinks. Yay. Cheers, guys. Happy birthday, Oh. Got it, They are playing the jams right now. I get demonetized here. Yeah, all the crazy shit I did. 
tonight. You better make us look good. It's getting late, but I don't mind. It's getting late, but I don't mind. It's getting late, but I don't mind. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I gotta say, this would be the best speakeasy. Just the ambiance, and I believe it's unbeatable. It's right on High Street, too. That's pretty awesome. Good? Yeah. Hi, bye. Filipino. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seven. Oh my god! <laughs> we made it to one. Oh, every time. It works. I had to do it. 107.